hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we're going to dive into creating a comprehensive vehicle maintenance user form in excel using vba we'll cover everything from adding editing and deleting and searching data so let's begin let's close this one right then create blank workbook right then i will close this i don't need it anymore right close close also this one ah sorry new one all right so first of all go to developer right if you don't have a de developer here right click then go to customize the ribbon then look for developer then check the case then okay right now go to developer and visual basic now let's create a user form insert a user form right okay now let's insert levels okay this one is vehicle id ID right okay let's add borders from here change the color backgrounds right this one all right let's change the fonts go to fonts then times normal balls and 14 or 16 like this right Okay, let's duplicate this one. Let's control then write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's name this one again. Vehicle make. vehicle model for maintenance dates And the maintenance type then maintenance description then we have costs then next maintenance dates one two three four five six seven eight okay ID make model dates tip 
description cost next i will delete this one all right now let's insert text box from here all right let's add borders let's duplicate the text box with control or you can add it from here all right that's all let's add another one for search put it here okay now let's insert list box from here all right the same way add borders now let's uh, add buttons okay let's name it this one is search font bold then 16 all right now let's duplicate the button press ctrl then okay so search this one is add edit delete and clear clear right okay let's change the background for the user form go to back color any color that you want for example this one okay so we have 26 here we have 36 also okay now it's time to rename all the buttons and text box right okay I have all the names here okay this one txt id the second one we have okay the third one maintenance dates select the text box for maintenance date okay enter maintenance tape enter and then maintenance description
Enter. TXT costs. Enter. And the last one is maintenance dates. Next. Maintenance dates. Okay. Its name also list box. Select list box, then name it as LST maintenance records. Then we have DXT search. And the buttons, all right. Okay, we have CMD add. Okay, add this one, edit CMD, edit. CMD delete CMD delete then CMD clear CMD clear then CMD search CMD search All right. Now everything is okay. Okay, for all the names. All right. Okay. Now let's name the sheet. Go back to the sheet. Name it as maintenance data. Second one. Home. All right. Vehicle ID. Maintenance description. Then we have cost and next. Then next maintenance. Okay. Now let's select all the columns, then go to Home tab, Center, and All Borders, right? Now let's select the header, okay. Now let's disable the grid lines. Go to view grid lines like this. Okay, let's create a button here. Select all the sheet. Then go to 
and choose any color that you want for example this one then go to developer to create a button insert all right right click on it properties change the name for example open change the color background color and the fonts right bold and the last one now right click on it then view code okay from here you could write user form one dot show user form one that we have created here user form one that show okay go back disable design mode now let's execute this one as you can see all right now we will edit the name for user form go to user basic okay select the user form properties from here change the name all right okay now everything it's okay execute again that is the result select all the text box and list box go to font then choose times new roman as you like then go to text align and choose center text align center right okay okay that's all for today if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video